Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The missile research and development in India has been dominated by DRDO and its production by Bharat Dynamics Limited BEL and OFB. However, the recent impetus towards making India and government's push to involve private sector company has led the excellent private sector firms like Bharat Forge and Tata Advanced Systems Limited to emerge. Bharat Forge offers almost all ranges of artillery and TASL is emerging in aerospace manufacturing. However, when it comes to missiles, solar industry is the rising giant. The company's chairman Satnarayan Nuwal had dropped out of school after class 10, but now at the age of 70, he debuts on the list of India's 100 richest. Nuwal is a chairman of 35,800 crore solar industries with headquarters in Nagpur, which is leading in the industrial explosives and ammunition manufacturing. The solar industry began its interesting journey as a supplier of explosives to state-owned coal mines and now it's making everything from explosives, propellants to grenades, lottery munitions, rockets, missiles, component and warheads. It became the first company to win an ammunition order for the supply of 10 lakh multi-mode hand grenade worth Rs 450 crore to be delivered over two years. The company is also making propellants for Akash missile and Pinaka rockets. It also makes Prio techniques which helps initiate the explosion and igniters which provides the spark for the ammunition. In July, Solar Industry became the first indigenous supplier of the boosters for Brahmos missile. EEL, a subsidiary of Solar Industry, has offered Nagastr series of lottery munition which includes Nagastr 1, Nagastr 2 and Nagastr 3. Nagastr 1 has recently completed its user trial with Indian Army. It has more than 80% indigenous content and can carry 1.5 kg of warhead to a range of 15 km. Nagastr 2 and Nagastr 3 has also been tested in Ladakh in March 2022. Nagastr 2 is a tube or a catapult launch lottery munition that can deliver a 4 kg of explosive warhead up to a range of 25 km. Nagastr 3 is a vehicle mounted tube or cassette launch lottery munition that can carry 5 to 10 kg of warheads to a range of 40 to 100 km. Recently, the Ministry of Defense has released an RFP to procure 180 canister launched anti armor lottery munition a calm system regarding which we have also made a video. The Nagastr 3 matches with this requirement of Indian Army. Again, on 15th June, the solar industry has submitted proposals to manufacture two high-mobility, long-range precision rocket system Maheshwarastra 1 and Maheshwarastra 2 under the Make 2 category of Make in India initiative. Under Make 2 initiative, the company will have to build prototypes without the funding support from government. Maheshwarastra 1 will be multi-barrel guided rocket launch system with a range of 150 km while Maheshwarastra 2 will have a range of 250 km. Both of them are going to be guided rockets. The 250 km range rocket is going to be based on Brahmos missile but without a seeker. The Army version of Brahmos missile does not require a seeker as most of its target is going to be a stationary one like bunkers, command center and ammunition depot. The cost of Brahmos missile is Rs 40 crore whereas the new 250 km rocket or missile proposed by solar industry is priced at just Rs 8 crore. But seeker can also be deployed with additional cost of Rs 3 crore but still much cheaper than Brahmos. While Brahmos is a silver bullet of Indian armed forces, its higher cost will be unsustainable in prolonged war. Brahmos can carry a warhead of 250 kg which is less but Maheshwarastra 2 can carry a warhead of up to 375 kg. Once this is developed, it will become the indigenous high mars and even better in many aspects. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.